Working in tornado country is a tall order. Being a meteorologist there means always being on your game and constantly expecting the unexpected. getting into when, when we come here, it's, it's, it's our job, it's what we do. Meet Rick Smith, Morning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. He's been at the helm in Oklahoma for 21 years. Severe weather is his bread and butter. But to work in tornado country is one thing. Living here as a meteorologist is entirely different. Living here as people, as residents, that's a whole other thing because it's a matter of making sure your home is ready, making sure your family is ready. The state of Oklahoma averages 56 tornadoes a year. And as Smith says, tornado season is year round. As much as a week in advance of dangerous weather, his staff prepares for severe weather operations and to issue life-saving warnings. On the day of a big event, they approach their roles with unwavering focus. You've got a job to do, and your job could impact the lives of thousands of people, you know. Uh, but at the same time, you're worried about those people. You're worried about what's going to happen. You More often than not, those people are family, friends, and loved ones. On a severe weather day, you, before I go to work, I make sure that my family knows. They can't count on me to call them and tell them, you know, that a storm's coming or what they need to do. They're going to be perhaps on their own that day. If things are busy, phones don't work. I mean, any, anything can happen on a big day. When the chips are down and Smith and his team are tracking dangerous storms, it can be unsafe settling, issuing a warning for your own neighborhood. I mean, we know we can't prevent it. We know we don't control any of this. We can't do anything about it. But just that helpless feeling of, of seeing a giant supercell coming toward your house. Forecasters and the public alike hold their breath during the month of May, when 40 to 45 percent of Oklahoma's annual tornadoes touch down. We've been watching May come at us on the calendar for a long time. Just here in the office, when the calendar flips over to March, you know, Oh, it's almost May when it flips over to April. It seems like an endless parade of storms. That can be that can be tough for people that live here or for people that work in the office. That means lots of 16-hour days, double shifts, and occasional sleepless nights. With each season that passes, it's tough not to escape with at least a few battle wounds. In 20 years I've been here, I've replaced four roofs, and that's probably not the most of anybody in the office. Some episodes have left deeper scars than others. Yeah, May 24, 2011 was one of those days where the work life and the personal life definitely intersected where it came to, when it came to the tornadoes and severe weather in the area. And at one point we had three supercells producing violent tornadoes on parallel paths moving through the Oklahoma City metro area. Two of those were headed directly for Norman. The southern supercell was had arrived for the office here. Uh, both were producing EF4 tornadoes at the time. We saw visuals. We knew what was what was coming. Probably the scariest moment for me was just tornado sirens are going off, looking out the window behind me, and uh, seeing the dark skies down to the southwest, knowing we knew what was in there. You couldn't see it at that point. But then the, the, the most eerie thing was seeing debris falling from the sky, seeing pieces of insulation, pieces of houses, mobile homes, things like that falling just outside the window. At the same time, getting texts from my wife who's experiencing the same thing from the northern supercell tornado. That's not the first time the National Weather Center, which houses Smith's office, has been in the crosshairs of a damaging tornado. And it certainly won't be the last just this past February, February 26th, when the tornado hit Norman, we had one of our employees whose house was damaged and others, many others got very close calls. Jennifer Thompson, a colleague of Smith's, was at the office when the tornado passed barely a mile away. Once that warning was issued was at the point where it got really quiet in the office and 
that just, in, you know, intense concentration because trying to focus on what was on our monitors and not get distracted, you know, with how close it was and, and whatnot, and it, it did pass south and east. When the danger finally cleared, the office tweeted out an unusually blunt message. Well, it's been a day, they wrote. By morning, forecasters dispersed across the affected communities to survey the damage. It was kind of surreal, you know? I mean, you always hear that it's different when you see it in person, and it's, it's true. I mean, it's seeing how people are affected. You know, I saw someone just walking out of a neighborhood with a suitcase asking where he could get an Uber out because, you know, roads were shut off to his neighborhood so he can get, get out. Some of the homes belong to Thompson's colleagues. So when the tornado hit Norman, we had one of our employees whose house was damaged and others, many others got very close calls. It wouldn't be the first time a tornado had damaged one of the forecasters' homes. On May 6, 2015, we had a, an EF1 tornado that uh, damaged my home. Now, after that day, I, I vowed I would never call a tornado weak again because that's technically on the weaker end of the spectrum. But that wasn't all that week had to offer. We actually had more damage two days later, May 8th, when we had a big hailstorm come through. That's when my wife was texting me as we're here working severe weather that windows were breaking, new roof, new garage door, new screens, windows, doors, air conditioner damage, that type of thing. When it comes to Mother Nature, however, that's just the price of doing business. I mean, we can't do anything to stop the storms, prevent the storms. We just have to work as hard as we can to get information out to help reduce the impact. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.